live. We are live. I think, well, we're live. We're recording live. <laughs> uh, we haven't had you on in a long time, man. It's been months. How have you been? Busy, tired, um, trying to keep up with you a little bit here. Trying to Well, yeah, lately uh, we've been talking almost on a daily basis now, uh, trying to get the site updated. So, like That's kind of what yeah. we're talking about today is, uh, I think, just uh, progress of the website and where we're at. Yeah, well, I'm excited about the progress, especially over the last couple of weeks. It's really come along nicely. So what have you seen that's been done that uh, is exciting to you so far? Um, well, just the overall design. I, I like the more modern look to it. Um, it, it has a it has a feel like it's today, not something that's outdated. I felt kind of like the other side was a little outdated, but I like the modern look. I like um, how you're designing the checklist. I'm just excited to see it moving forward. They actually show some life in it again where it didn't for a while so there you go so here we have uh kind of a sample of what the front page looks like this is on a what we're showing today is really uh the not so much the back end stuff but it's the kind of the hidden stuff right now that's not really published publicly right. yet um so this is very uh similar to what you can see right now if you go to wrestlingtradingcards.com uh the only difference is uh, there's not going to be any um, uh, up in this area right here. It'll just say like updates coming or something like that or whatever it says up there. I can't remember what it says, uh, but it still has the same front page. It still has uh, below. This is a screenshot. So below that, it has uh, the you know the Kevin Nash uh, car we we issued. Um, but you'll notice there's a navigation on the on the right hand side. Um, those are pretty much all the tabs we used to have before on the old side, I think. Yes. Yeah, the only difference, um, and it's not showing on this version, but we have the master checklist out in the front. Correct. On the right-hand side. So it's available on every page now. Um, but overall, I mean, it's just got a good feel to it. I like it. It's easy layout, something I think will be very easy for people to navigate once they yeah. get simplicity is better i've always thought um we don't need to be too busy we you know we'll probably incorporate some imaging uh here and there maybe a featured thing or something i know we were just talking late last night about um the main checklist page which will be broken down by year and uh maybe having some sort of a featured card to represent that era uh, you know of 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 checklists right. um kind of like melding the old i guess to take a step back so this is the second version of the new site <laughs> uh, because it was originally built on a different platform uh, that we just didn't like. Yeah. Uh, you know, had someone try to assist us in doing something and they end up using a generic template that just never looked or felt right. Um, the, the site's pretty much built on like a blog type of uh, service and we'll get more into that in a second, but um, just that main page was so unattractive. It really was. It really was. And I, I, when I saw it, I was actually quite disappointed, especially when you told me somebody actually built it. Yeah. I, I was like, you paid for that. Yeah. And it's just, <laughs> um, it, it was disappointing. I know. Uh, I just think we had um, um, uh, poor communication of, of what it was I was trying to explain and what it was that he yeah. was trying to understand. And it's, it's always been my problem trying to do, talk to developers anyways of, um, you know, I'm, trying to give a groundwork of things. And I'm sure I probably go in different areas that I probably are irrelevant. But when you talk to a programmer or a developer, they're always thinking 10 steps ahead. And I'm, I'm like, I don't need to get that far right now. I just need a foundation to build upon you. Right. You want you want to put all the insulation and, and put windows on, on a piece of property that hasn't even built, some <laughs> foundation hasn't been built right. yet. <laughs> and um, it was too busy. It, it was too busy for me when I opened it up and I saw it, it was just too busy. It was almost two in your face. And I remember years ago, I think I've told you this more than once years ago when I was learning to build or to work on WTC, when I was learning to work on my own personal website, you'd always taught me simple is better, less clicking, you know, you yeah. want to get right to where you're going. And that site, what he built was just not that it, the navigation was overly difficult, but just that front page was just so in your face. Yeah, it was a big, I mean, it was our logo of yeah. like this big giant, like it was stretched out and it's like that. And I know that was a placeholder for something else. So I guess I don't know what the end vision was supposed to be like of some kind of a video being played or um, a set of cards that kind of scrolls back. And I, I don't know what the end 
result was supposed to be, but it just didn't feel right and sit right. And no. I had been pushing the WordPress version of the site for a while. Again, not because I'm I'm a WordPress person. I had basically in this last few weeks, I've had to kind of educate myself on how to use WordPress. Um, it was just, I just thought that it probably offered us uh, more of what we were looking to do. And right. when I, what was, what sold me on moving away from the old template site that he was using uh, for the new version uh, was um, I hit a page limit. Like we wait, I'm reeling static pages and I'm, I am only allowed to have X amount of pages. And I said, that's not going to work because we have no. hundreds of pages. <laughs> it's just and not going to work. And it's going to continue to grow. Correct. It's never, you're not going to, we're not in a situation where, whoops, we've gotten every single wrestling checklist ever made and there'll never be one again. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's going to continue to grow. So yeah, we can't be sitting on a, on a page builder that limits the amount of pages you can build. Yeah, that's it was absolute. just, um, it, it just, it was one hurdle after another of like, yeah. Oh, wait, so I can't do that. And I can't do this. And I thought that, you know, you got me this amazing package deal of some sort of like, uh, you know, master developer set of tools through GoDaddy, because the WTC site currently exists on a Yahoo server it's from Yahoo. It was an old, I think it was a GeoCities account at one time that got gobbled up by Yahoo, you know, many, many presidents ago. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, it's just, um, they also offer the tools that we could use and stuff like that. But the price that he got me on GoDaddy for all these special tools and bells and whistles just was better. So I wanted to move it over there and like saving a lot of money. Uh, so, but what exists now and what you see now live, if you go to wrestlingtradingcards.com is the Yahoo version of it. And it's also done built by WordPress. I was playing with that version first to get a feel of it which was probably dumb of me because that's live. <laughs> right. Uh, where I should have been doing other stuff I was in the back on the GoDaddy side, but I got something that was built pretty quick and easy. I thought on the Yahoo side, I go, oh, well, let me mimic that over on the GoDaddy, uh, GoDaddy side. And I couldn't get it to work. I didn't know why. So I literally had to uninstall that template that I was using from uh, uh, WordPress, reinstall it back to its defaults and just kind of going, oh, they do this and they do that. And so, it became like, uh, uh, like I got over this hurdle, you know? Yeah. It was so difficult. Uh, I was pulling my hair out of my head for that time, but. Uh, I don't know. You and I, you and I had a conversation, what, early last week? Yeah. When was it? And I feel like ever since you and I were able to have that conversation, you've really been able to move forward quite quickly, actually. Yeah. It's just talking to and somebody we, about it, you know? Yeah. Once, once we got a feel of, of, I think what we wanted and, an agreement. And when you showed to me, when you showed me what you started to work on after seeing the original site that was built, um, I, I fell in love with the direction you were going. And I, you know, just to have that conversation and just kind of move you in the right direction, throw in my yep. two cents and share some ideas. It's like you have exploded over just the last week. I don't, obviously people don't know because they, they don't see what you're doing. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, to see it. And I have seen you just cite you know, the menus, everything that you've been putting in has really just been over the last week. It really you has have last really week. moved. Yeah, you've really moved a lot in the last week. And I feel like you're a lot closer to, you know, relaunching than you are to starting over again. Yeah, so. I'm finally caught up because I was I was building and just kind of on the hope on the old, uh, the old new, you know, version 1.0 of the new right. stuff. I thought that, right. uh, okay, well, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to keep building. I'm going to keep doing the blog pages. And then eventually I think we can start playing around with design and have it, how it looks. And I just, uh, the more I kept doing it, I was like, I stopped at a certain point and I go, I don't know if this is going to work. It's just not looking what I want it to look like and feeling like I want it to feel. So I started kind of dipping into the WordPress stuff. And then it was giving me the tools and things that I thought this is kind of more the flow I want to look like. This has looked a little better right. to me. Um, but then getting over that hurdle of how, how to lay things out and working on the coding and dealing with things called, you know, block editing versus classic editing. And it, it just was a learning curve. And I've, I've every day I get a little bit more uh, forward. So it's, it's well, I think you get better more, now. It's, it's more, I think it's, yeah, you're moving forward, but I think you're also getting more comfortable. Yes. And let's be honest, we've, well, not so much me, but I think you've been talking about um, this format for a long time. Yes. For a long time, you've been talking about doing this. And strangely enough, I think you, 
instead of just doing it, I don't know why you kind of went the other way, knowing, I think in your heart, you always wanted to go this way. Yeah. But I also was trying to find the easy way out and find someone yeah. who could just build me a foundation that we can just build upon. So I'm like, okay, there it is. Yeah. Great. Cool. Now we'll just go ahead and add our checklist, add our checklist, add our checklist. And, uh, yeah, but I think didn't when you out. go the easy way, it's when you go the easy way, it's not your way. Correct. You understand what I'm saying? So when you try to go the, the easy way, you ended up rebuilding it anyways because you weren't happy. Yeah. And so now that you've gone in the direction you originally wanted to go, you have control of it. You didn't really have control. You have somebody else to build something. You really don't have control of it. You're going off of what they want. And then the whole time you're fixing it, you're, you're constantly going, it's not what I want. It's not what yeah. I want. Now I got to change this. I got to move this. I got to do that. Instead of basically you went into WordPress, you had somewhat of a foundation that you had an idea, but after we were able to talk, you really, you really move forward. And more importantly, you've gotten comfortable over the last week, Tony, based yeah. on our conversation, based on just the, the work I've seen you, I can tell you oh, have yeah. grown, you have really grown. Well, it, it also helps press. when you have someone like yourself who understands what we're trying to do. I mean, right. you're, you're the co-owner of the site. And so you know what we're trying to accomplish and do when you're talking to somebody who doesn't understand the collectible world or understand what our, what our goal is. He's just thinking, oh, we can do this and do this. And like I say, he's always going 10 steps ahead where I'm, I'm thinking, well, I just want to get this. Well, that's a great idea. And then we can also implement where we can add some video features and do this. And it'll help you through Google Analytics and da, 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 da. I'm like, that all sounds great, dude, but we're not there yet. Yeah, right. Can we have the so, site first? <laughs> can we have the site first before I start, you know, you know, offering free tickets to the moon? Right. And, and you know what scares me? I'm scared to death to learn this. I have to tell you that because I hear you and I, you know, we have our conversations that you're struggling. Because, and but but the way I'm going to explain it to you is going to be so much easier. I think this, this format and how to do it, it's going to be so much easier than uh, it's going to be just as easy as you don't learn the last stuff. The, oh, the uh, page builder from the old site. Okay. Uh, it's not hard because what we'll explain now is uh, the site now is built on WordPress and WordPress allows us to do two different kinds of things. Now with the site, we can make things what I call they call it pages and posts, okay? So pages are static pages. Those are like really web pages, like regular, right. normal web pages. Yep, their I get posts, that. Their post is another word for blogs. Right. Okay, so they're both kind of the same, but they have sort of like little different feels to them. Um, so what I've done is I took all of our normal pages, checklist page, home page, manufacturer's page. Uh, what else do we have? We have- About uh, us. About, about us. us. Contributors, FAQ, yep. All that stuff. Thoughts. Those are all static pages, uh, meaning there's it's just static pages. What we built right there. From that point forward, uh, then you go to the checklist page. The checklist page itself is like, okay. It's a static page. Once you go to a year and click on say whatever year you want to go to, that is now a blog, and that blog now has other little attributes and features we can add to it. It'll have things called breadcrumbs. It'll have things called categories. It'll have things called tags. Uh, it'll allow you to go to next and previous to different uh, uh, checklists. It will have a feature in the bottom where you can comment about that page. Um, and it gets going down even deeper and deeper. So you click on a year, then you click on a set from that year, that checklist will show up from that set. You can comment about that set. And then down the road, you'll be able to click on an image of that card and that image will show up. You can talk about that card specifically and have a whole conversation about that. There could be links to auctions. There could be links to, uh, you know, sponsors. It could be links on the, in the comments section to people who want to sell you a box of this product, possibly or something. Right. So the potential can be a lot. Well, what I'm hearing, okay, from my standpoint, what I'm hearing is is we're literally creating an interactive website. It's Correct. no longer just showing up, looking at a photo, you know, or an image, looking at a checklist. Now you're going to be able to look at the image. You're going to be able to look at check, and you're going to immediately be able to comment. If you yep. have something to say, if, if there's something, if we're missing some information, you can put right in there. Hey guys, da 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 da. But it's making the site truly interactive and allowing everybody to participate. Correct. And you're gonna have immediate feedback, really, if you want it, and if people Absolutely. are willing to give it. Absolutely. So this will be an example of like a, a uh, you know checklist page, uh, not a checklist page, but the main page for 2021 checklist. And again, this is all everything being shown here is sort of just like. Uh, maybe a first, second, third draft. I don't know. It's, it's a draft, basically. It's not finalized yet. Um, but you have here, you know, from 2021 checklist, basically. Uh, what's not shown here, obviously, is uh, on the, I cut it off. It's uh, still, we'll still have the navigation on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. It'll still be there. So you can always go where you need to go to. Um, matter of fact, why is it even showing this page? This is an old page. Yeah, I was just, 
kind of surprised it was showing that. Let me go to a different page. That's a whole different ball game there. Yeah. I guess, oh, you know what? I grabbed him from the wrong, that's all right. I grabbed him from the wrong place. Well, I can at least show you, there we go. I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. Uh, we have, um, this will be a checklist, obviously, for you. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so you'll still have all your navigation on the right-hand side. Uh, you'll always know the latest updates will be there. It's broken down by month, so you know how many updates were made. You can click on, like, say, May. There's 124 updates because, you know, I made every year uh, a page for every year. Whether it had a, a set release net or not, we don't know. We might stumble across it one day. Who knows? Um, so they're all there. So that's all the updates. You can click on that, and it'll take you, I think it's uh, – eight or 10, you know, of those blog, they're blogs basically. So I'll take you to blogs and you can click on it and see what was updated on that page. Um, and then go down by months and it'll have a whole list of months. And eventually we'll have so many months that I'm gonna make it into a drop down menu. You can select which months you wanna to go to. I'm, I'm looking at the update and it looks like you can fit, you're fitting, it's kind of weird. You can fit 10 a page, but technically I don't know why you can't fit 12 because it goes in the list of three. Yeah, right. It goes three, three, and then another one at the bottom, yeah. right? Yeah. It goes three, 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 one. So I, I think it's why. I think it's a setting in, in the in the blog settings. You can tell how many blogs per page you want to put on. I think. Oh, okay. I mean, technically, you could change it to twelve. You could get. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it has. A, I don't know if it has a default of like you know oh. one, five, ten, twenty, or something like that. I don't know. I can check yeah. if I can make my own numbers. I will, but I also don't want to overpopulate. Like have fifty on one page, you know. Right. Well, this is you know again. I'm looking at this and. It's nice. I don't actually, <laughs> from my end, yeah. it automatically updates that, right? Because you don't yes. have to go in anymore and say update and da, da da da, which is great. So somebody can just go in and they can see it right away without me having to actually put all that in. And can they? Well, well, what happens here? Here's the other side of that issue, though, because the blog page has now been created. It's no longer going to show back up in updates if you were to edit that blog page, because you can we can go back and edit the blog page. So oh, okay. if we go back and say this right here, 2020 checklist page was created, it's going to show up as, you know, in the latest update section because it was brand new created. But I want to go back and add another uh, something to it or edit in some way. It's not going to go back and, sh uh, and show it's been updated again. It won't just move it to the top? I don't know if it does or not. I don't think so. I'm not sure because we've, uh, they're all freshly created. So I haven't made an edit to any of the pages yet. I got to believe because anytime you edit something, it, it should move it back to the front. You that, would think, that, but I doubt it. Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah. even even still, we have a, um, we can get, because the blogs are endless. We can have literally thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So when we make edits, we have a standard page and just go, just make a new blog every time. Like here's some stuff we updated and it just shows up there then. That's great. On his own blog. And then people can talk about that. That blog becomes a, you know, hey, you know, you messed up. It was a typo or there's spacing right, issues or right. whatever kind of thing. So we, we have that. Um, trying to figure out what else we have here to share. Because now I'm like, did I get everything correct? Well, you could show, I guess, I don't know if you can, you could show, you could show the master checklist. I think that's up and running, isn't it? Well, here's what I'm talking about when it comes to like leaving comments. In the very bottom, you have an area right here where you oh, yep. can actually comment and post it. And then your, your whole list of comments will show up in this area down here. Oh, okay. Um, every page, I mean, there's all of our stuff right there. So, you know, we go right to you know Facebook. We got Twitter. We got Instagram, YouTube, Discord, uh, Spotify. And these go all. Podcast. And these go all directly to our social media. Pages. All WTC social media. Everything. Yeah, so it's not like you're. Yeah, it's not like you're just logging into Facebook and you got to go nope. find us. It's, nope. it's a direct link. Direct That's link to everything. Yeah, that's great. They can go right to our page, right to Twitter, right to Instagram, right to our YouTube channel, right to the Discord. Now, Discord, technically, even though uh, I created it for wrestling, because it was I was mind blowing to me that there was not a with all the thousands and thousands of Discord channels there are about everything, there wasn't anything devoted to just wrestling cards. There were trading card ones. It's now they might dabble a little bit in wrestling, but nothing that was strictly wrestling cards. So I originally created it as WrestlingTradingCards.com channel, and I got rid of the .com. And just call it wrestling trading cards so people can feel free to go in there and all they do is chit chat and talk and trade and i mean there's 60 some odd accounts created so far which is you know very little but you know it's growing but it's a lot more it activity goes. going in our old forums page that's for sure 
Well, it's funny you bring that up because I noticed we don't have anything for the form. Are you just going to put a form link on the side because you want to keep it I going? Might, I might. I might have okay. even something called an archive section. I think it's important that we have like, you know, we were featured at PW Torch. We were featured in WW Magazine. We were featured right. you know, on Non-Sport Update. It'd be kind of nice to show some of our accolades up there. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, yeah. um, and put it up there in an archive section of some kind, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. And uh, so we can get some nice scanned images of, uh, you know, those things and put them up there so um but the more information the better uh, everything we can put up there we have the ability to put everything we want up there i just like the fact that like i said i said earlier i like the modern modernization i guess is the word i'm looking for of wtc you're we're bringing it in into the to the new millennium and you're going to have people that are <clears throat> going to be active immediately on the site they can contribute immediately they can talk about a card immediately and uh, it's something we haven't really been able to do before. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about that. The blog idea is something that's definitely going to be, I think, exciting for people. It, to be it is. Of. And it's, it was something that took me a minute to, to kind of grasp and understand going blogs. Who wants blogs? I don't understand blogs. And then the more I thought about it, uh, that's one thing the guy who I paid originally to do something um, was really good at was trying to really push the blog format on, on me. And the more I thought about it, I go, yeah, you know what? That actually is a smart and good idea. So, I mean, here's like an example of like the, you know, the, the master checklist page, I guess. I mean, I mean the manufacturer page. This, this is the manufacturer. I'm not sure that we need to have the links anymore. I don't know how many of these links are even valid. Yeah, I, I don't know what's uh, available as far as what's valid. I, I did come across some when I had uh, on the links page, right? I did make the links page. I had to remove uh -huh. some because they don't exist anymore. Yeah, BBM here, but I mean, you can't, you'd have to get a translator to, to view it. Well, it's a, it's a um, site you can go to. Yeah, it's it's still there. It's still there, so. I, I, I think it's, you know, as long as it uh, has a functioning website, I don't mind linking to it, so. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna police it, you know, 24 seven, I'm looking to see what, uh, you know what's still valid or not and again uh, this is a static page there's no way for someone to make a comment but you know there is a contact us page that will be go going to a, a brand new email address that you and i will have access to um it all funnels into the same place so we all get the same you know emails we can go through and from there we'll be able to store our things in folders and whatnot and we will never get rid of that one i promise <laughs> that will not go away yeah we lost a lot we did lose a lot and um I, I don't even want to think about it because <laughs> it, it hurts. Uh, so to go back to the uh, the checklist page of where the years, um, when you are on that page, you can scroll down to the bottom uh, and you'll be able an area where you can go and previous and next, you know, so you can always go back to the next set you know, from, from there as well. Oh, nice. Uh, so Very it'll nice. allow you to go back to 2020 and then what's the oldest one would be 1887. So that's the beginning of the checklist basically right there, you know? And then once you click here, you'll be on 2020. So you'll have 2021 on one side and 2019 on the other side. Oh, and then you'll have wow. an area, you'll have an area down there. It just says, you know, similar posts. Okay. So for whatever reason, I don't know why it, it you know, based on tags, I have no idea, but you'll notice there's a tag here too. I did see that actually. I did. So the tags will be on every page. Uh, it's a blog page, and that's another way that someone can go and say, you know, I want to find because you're going to find, you're going to find some pages that have multiple years on it, even though you might be on a specific year, and that's because on the old site we had say a a, a set ran from 1994 to 2000. We listed it in 1994, but you couldn't find it in 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. You had to know it started in 94 to find it. <laughs> now it's right. going to exist on every one of those year pages like that. And because it has 94 to 2000, it'll be tagged 1994, 1995, 1996, and it'll, be, it'll tag you to, and you can find all the different sets from those years. It's just another quick way for someone to be able to navigate themselves and find what they're looking for. Nice. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I had the other one. I, um, yeah, that's the old one. You'll notice here from the checklist, this is what's called a breadcrumb. So when you're on here, it lets you know you started at home, you went to checklist page, and here's where you're at now. So just like you would imagine like eBay, you're in categories. 
So you go to eBay, you click on collectibles. From collectibles, you're in sports cards. Sports cards, you're in wrestling. Wrestling, you're in singles. And you'll see that trail. It's called a breadcrumb. Well, it's kind of like that on your computer, too. You're starting to see drive, and then you go to this drive. Correct, it, exactly. It literally goes across the top. So it's the same concept. And yeah, I totally get it. And so these are links, too. will take you back to those places as well. There's a thing called, and I, I'm sure there's probably a way I can turn it off, because if I don't categorize, these are categories. This section right here, this row would grow all the way out, and it would be categories. And you can uh, assign categories to your checklist and things. And so I've already built all these categories in there. It's one of the first things I did with the, on, on the WordPress site was build categories. And uh, I figured that's a good place to start because then I can start categorizing everything. Um, right. If you don't assign a category to a, check, uh, to a page, to a blog, it by default marks it as uncategorized. That's the, the name. And I didn't oh, want to okay. have it listed as uncategorized. So everything is going to be at least checklist. Okay. Um, if I can turn it off, I'd rather turn it off. I feel like it's kind of redundant because we already have the breadcrumbs. So I have checklists here and here. Both these will take you to the same place. Okay. I'm sure there's a control in there somewhere you can figure it out at some point, but let's shut Correct. it off. So you'll have on top, you'll have places to go to, to go search for things. And the bottom, you'll have places to go to search for things as well based on the tags. Nice. Um, now on top of that, uh, actually, I was going to go somewhere with all that about the breadcrumbs and, um, oh, searching. So once everything's kind of in place, I will be putting in a search function. So I think I have to learn, but I think it's a search function. I want it to be a search function like it exists on the Yahoo version we have right now, where if I right. do a search for new jack uh i will find all the cards that were uh we have on our website that, feed, that say new jack right um i don't know i believe the search that's that allows me to add searches google which i don't no, want I, to go outside of our site i want to search right. in our site yeah it's one thing i do like about the search on the old the actual well the old wtc yeah um yeah it is it's just internal yes yeah. And that's what I want. And I have to yeah. learn how to do that. I'm sure there's probably either a plugin for me to do that or there's a setting of some kind, but I'm not there yet. So I don't want to, you know, overwhelm myself with having to figure that stuff out right now. Right. I'm One still, step uh, at a time. Yep. One step at a time. Baby steps, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, that's, and then, so the checklist page will be, and let's show you, uh, where's my check? That's an old version. See, that's the old version. I see how the categories are inside here. I hated that. Okay. I hated that. Those are all the categories that I had entered into the old site. And I didn't like the word wrapping. I couldn't change the the sizing on that, uh, that one. Yeah, I don't like it either. I, I agree. I want everything clear across. I don't like it wrapping around like that at all. So here's a, a short example of a, of a checklist page now. So you'll see it still links because what happens is I copied and pasted from the old Yahoo site. So when you copy and paste, it still brings all the uh, uh, characters and attributes from that checklist. So it still shows that this, you know, uh, Adrian C. Anson's like that is going to be linked to an image and that image still exists over on the Yahoo side. Um, so we'll be playing with that going forward as well, too. But uh, it shows you where you're at. So you're at home, you're at checklist, and here's a checklist you're at, which is great. Um, and then these will all be, eventually, the, the goal here is that these will end up becoming their own blog pages. Blog page, blog page, blog page, blog. And that's where you can go to and actually interact and talk about certain cards. Okay. Um, where was I going to go with that after that? Oh, so in the, in the bottom section, you'll have this. So it used to be called the info section. Now it's just called release information. Uh, you know, we're not so hip anymore. We're older. And <laughs> so it's just uh, release information. Uh, going back over some of the stuff, I'd found some typos and spacing issues. And when we're adding this stuff to the blog page, it is still within the setting of copying and pasting from the old one. Going forward, as we type out new ones, it'll be different. But because I'm copying and pasting from the old site, it grabs that formatting from that old site. So a lot of times, you know, all this stuff would be, it'd be truncated all from right to here, like going straight down the line here. So I have to go to the beginning here, hit backspace, space, backspace, you know, forward, backspace, space, make the space, make it fit. Right. It required some formatting, basically. So that's what I'm doing to every single checklist page, every single one of them. Uh, and then it's kind of going through and making sure we have things. And what was not shown here, but will be shown, uh, adding it later, 
as the bottom will always have a link at the bottom that says, you know, click here for any errors or updates. And it'll take you to our contact us. And if you have a problem with the checklist, it's missing information, you have additional information, the typos, errors, want to tell us great job, tell us doing a bad job, whatever, you can go right there and, and, and submit a comment. Okay, and I would assume, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm looking at this release of information, all these links that are in there that are to images, I'm assuming each one of those will be a blog as well. So people can Correct. comment. Correct. Okay. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. We can even on this pages now, we can even feature cards. I noticed like, you know, Paul is really good with his uh, price guides. Like, and, and to be all tra fully transparent here, I, I'm very envious. And I like Paul's website for the price guide. And I've talked to him extensively about his website, uh, about how some things will be mimicking his site and looking if he's okay with that. Everything that's going to be on this site, everything that has anything that it might look like Paul's site, it's been 100% approved by Paul. I run everything by Paul before I do something to say, hey, my buttons are looking kind of like yours or it's kind of a similar feel to it. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, do whatever it takes. I mean, he's super supportive of us. And the, the goal here is to really be complimentary towards each other that we're a nice companion piece to each other. He handles prices, can show you quick flip throughs of the, of the entire set and his binders because he owns such an amazing collection. Um, and then, then you can go to our site and get checklists and information so like that. Um, so we're very complimentary to each other. Nice. Um, I, you're good. No, I agree. It's, I'm glad to hear that because I know Paul's been a huge supporter of ours, likewise to him. So it's always nice to share like ideas and, and be on the same page. So and, and to get advice. Obviously, we've been envious of his site for a while. So yeah. You might as well, you know, use that uh, resource. Yeah, I mean, uh, even we're using the same template design in WordPress. I use the same one yeah. he did. I, I just thought it's a generic. It's very simple. It's not a, not complicated at all because there are literally thousands of templates you can use. Uh, WordPress is no different than any other page building tool, really. It just has a whole um, list of other cool kind of controls you can do, and you can really break things down even further. Um, and then it has the blog feature, of course, too, which, you know, it does the other ones too, but, um, yeah. I don't know. It just feels like it's what needed to be done for the site. So you'll notice in the bottom here for this one, cause it's on the actual checklist. I've added tags that say 1800s, Allen and Genter, tobacco cards, vintage, you know, anything else that can help somebody find maybe other vintage cards. When we start building other things and tagging them vintage, it can go right to those things too, to see other vintage stuff if you want to. Uh, if you want to see other cards from the 1800s, just click on that and it'll take you to uh, other blog pages of 1800s. So you can click on those and see all those checklists. Nice. So just another way for someone to kind of navigate themselves through. What happens is on this page too, you'll notice on the right hand side, your links, that will scroll. It's, it stays with you the entire way of the page, length of the page too. So you always have the ability to click on your, your main links over here on the right hand side. Uh, it never goes away. It's always there which is really cool little thing, I think. Um, I agree. What else do we have here? We have, I don't think I showed it on here. I don't know if you can see it or not on any of these. Now, uh, what ends up happening too on here is that down here in the bottom corner on any page, when you scroll down will be an up arrow that will take you right back to the top of the page. So that's gonna be very handy for some of those modern sets that have a really long ass checklist uh, yep. because of the parallels. If you wanna go back to the top, you don't have to scroll, 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 scroll. Just hit that and it'll take you right back to the top. Um, I, I you think got some that, really nice features on here. Some really I, I, nice features. I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the basic functionality of the site. I, I don't think there's a whole lot more so at this I'm time. Curious, uh, I was looking at the latest updates, right? So you have May and you have March. Um, what happens when you start scrolling into 2022? Does that automatically just become an archive of 2021 and you click on it or does it continue? At what point? Are we going to have years and years and years or months and months and months of latest updates going down? I mean, how does that work? It's just, it's going to be, it's the latest updates are broken down by month. Okay. So but at what point does it, what, at what point does it stop going down the page? That's what I said uh, earlier. I said, once we get enough of those, I'm going to probably do as a drop down menu. Okay. Okay. It'll okay. be a drop down. I, I had the choice to make a drop down menu or show it. I also have the choice to show the, uh, the update count. That's why you say a hundred uh -huh. something like that or turn it off. Oh, but okay. I figured to keep it on, it's just nice to know how many updates are being done. Yeah, I agree. I like it on actually. Uh, to me, for me, for me personally, just 
because I have access to seeing what you're doing, I can tell when you're updating something because I'll see that number change. I'm like, oh, yes. he's busy today. He's, he's yeah. out of time today. So I actually like it. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't yeah, lie about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, wait, that number won't change if I go through, it says 120 something, whatever it was. If I go back and, and add something to all 120 of those things, you won't know any different because it, that card, that number won't change. Okay. It only changes when you add a new blog. I got you. I got you. So that was a true new update. So when we add a new checklist, that number will go up. When you, when you want to make a, um, say you went in and we made a bunch of updates to existing blog pages, that's not going to show you in the latest updates. You will have to go and create a blog call latest updates and you know the day if you want to make the uh, day, uh, date so latest okay. updates uh may 16th 2021 and you break that blog saying hey I, I updated these checklists they needed some updates whatever whatever your notes are going to be you hit publish now it shows up on the new latest updates okay i got you i got you so it's not a matter of going in like the old page where we went in and go oh i i added these checklists and made these things and you go and you had to physically type out the you know stuff and right. put it there and it, um, it's kind of the same thing, but then you just hit post and it posts into a blog. Okay. I got you. Okay. And, and I believe I can do it. I can have the latest updates being shown on the main page too, if I want to. Oh, okay. So it can actually have it be a blog window within the main page and show that the latest updates. Okay. Good, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this. I, yeah, I mean, nice. I, I, I'm yeah, back up so to nice. what I was before where on the old site, I was doing all the stuff and making the pages. Um, Hold on a second, Tony, for a second. What's up? Yeah. Oh, not much. We're almost done. I know. <laughs> um, I was up to, uh, I had gotten from the 1800s and I got up to 1994 before I left off. Okay. Where I decided, you know what? I'm going to WordPress. This is just not working out. I'm just not feeling it. So I basically redid it all over again. And I'm uh, as of yesterday, I'm back up to 1994 where I was at before. Oh, okay. So now I'm back to merging things all in. And then after that, that's just to put the set names in their corresponding years. Okay. I know I did something you don't like, which is I got rid of all the categories. I got rid yeah, of- Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I got rid of, uh, you know, I got rid of, you know, action figure cars. I got rid of that category. I got rid of Japanese. I got rid of all that stuff and merged it all together because Everybody else I've ever looked in from Beckett to Paul site to everywhere else, it's just done by year. Doesn't matter what it is, a sticker, a CCG, a figure, doesn't matter what it is. It goes, I'm just kind of going that route. If we want to change it down the road, that's a bridge we can cross then, but I've already more than halfway done with it and I'm not going to go back. Um, it's just going to be there. And I'm sorry, as I'm merging everything in, that'll finish the years. And then the real fun starts. And that's where I go into every year and start checklist for this set, checklist for the 85 tops, checklist for the 87 tops. Check, I have to put all that stuff in. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on the spot for everybody out there. What is your, what is your time frame? Where do you think, when do you think we're gonna to get to a point where we close down the old WTC and we open this up for the public to start? Yeah, because uh, once I transfer the domain name over, it's like that, all that stuff goes away. I, yeah, I yeah. And, which I don't, I'm not even, I used to be really worried about it, but now that I have, uh, I guess I should have all of it. Now I have all the backup. You have all the backup, the yep. old site in multiple, uh, locations. Yes. Yes. So it's, I'm not overly worried about that. I can still copy and paste even from my locally here on my desktop. If I wanted to. Right. Um, and so technically I can get rid of the old site now, but people still want to have access to it and, and there it's still there. Right. So once we get a good chunk, I don't know. I hate to say and put myself on the yeah you're putting me on the spot of like I want to a date but it also depends on what my wife allows me to <laughs> to do time wise. Well, that's just it. I mean, we we have life. I mean, it's really what it comes down to. And I, I'm just teasing you, honestly. I you've done a tremendous job for everybody. That, hopefully, when people watch this, they'll they'll see all the work that you've put into it. And you're talking about taking one site, literally moving it to another. You're you're rebuilding it. You're modifying it. And you're copying, even though it's even though it's there, and you can copy and paste. You're talking hundreds of pages, yep. hundreds of checklists, and then on top of all that, you're editing these checklists. You're actually going back through and you're making uh, corrections on errors and whatnot. That all takes time. Yep. Um, 
I know we're going to get there. I, I hope that everybody that sees this, honestly, just looks at it and says, look, these guys are moving forward. They're not, you know, they're not BSing us. Yeah. We are, we are moving forward. The site is going to be what, what you're seeing. You, you're seeing a small sample of it today, but we are headed in that direction and it's going to happen sooner than later, meaning the, the, the new relaunch of the site. So we're almost there. I, th I think at the pace I'm going on right now, cause I mean, I'm in, I've been working on the site, you know, being Mr. Mom during the day, you know, my wife works full time. So then when she gets off of work, we try to have dinner together as a family, you know, right. and then after that, maybe I have to, you know, give our son a bath uh, and then spend some time with him. And then, uh, you know, they go to bed and by, before you know, it's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, you know, and that's when I get to start working and, right. and I'll be working on until two, three o'clock in the morning. So, um, and then I'm back up at, you know, seven thirty, say eight o'clock. If, if, if eight o'clock's a nice uh, sleep in, if he likes to sleep in. Um, so, uh, it's, you know, it's a lot to do. And if I keep working that pace, I, I could probably, I, I can see us within two months. Sounds good. I can see us within two months, if not sooner. I mean, I like to be able to surprise everybody and say like, you know, right, right. uh, you know, June 15th, you know, this time, you know, next month we're ready to go. Yeah, I, I don't expect you to give a date. I was <laughs> teasing, but I, I guess it's just like anything. I'm just excited. And I see how hard you've been working and it's, it's, it's got a life to it now, you know, yeah. it's got a real life to it. It's, it's tangible. It's in front of us. We're seeing something. I think we finally found the right format that we're looking for. You're on WordPress. You're happy. I, I see you. Um, I, I see the energy in you. And, I, it's, and fun. It, you, it's fun. It's actually, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, you feel like a sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. and you see like, we are moving forward. Things are happening. I think people thought I felt really bad because we've been doing these, I mean, we did the very first one, the very first YouTube uh, video we did, we talked about it, like, and all of a sudden see what happened. And it sort of like people were excited about it, it seemed like. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, you know, and you said to me, you go, you know what you just did? You lit a fire in our asses now. It's like, we kind of have to live up to it yeah. now. And yeah. I've been feeling bad ever since we was like, hey, so we're going to do a fundraiser with the Kevin Nash autograph card. It's going to help with the site. And then stuff was just going months and then a month and another month. And like, they probably think we're like bullshitting them and like uh, just uh, taking money and running. It's like, no, uh, I, I, granted, I, I ended up losing money on the Kevin Nash one. <laughs> so, you know, right. I, yeah. uh, fees and this, that, and the other ended up being, uh, but thank you so much for Kevin Nash for helping us out. I mean, he's just been so nice to us and uh, he, he called it a passion project. He knew what it was and yeah. um, he was very helpful, but um, uh, you know, it's moving, it's moving along and I'm very happy with it. And um uh, I'm excited about it and I can't wait to share it with everybody and hopefully they can get some good use out of it. And I don't mind the criticisms from people. They're going to say, Hey, this doesn't look right. Or this, uh, you know, we're having some functionality issues a little bit once in a while, some design layout issues on certain platforms. Uh, but we'll work those things out. The information is what's important and the information right. will be there. Yeah. I I'm, I'm really excited. I, you know, I've told you more than once. I mean, your social media presence right now has exploded over the last, six seven months you've taken us from facebook to twitter to discord to everything i mean yeah. we're out there you you know these videos have been great you know introducing you know you me and uh, wtc to the world whoever hasn't seen it before so now they're getting a chance uh, I, overall i i think we're we're heading in the right direction i think you've done a great job Thanks. um we've had a lot of late night conversations over <laughs> yeah. this and and hopefully we you know obviously we'll continue uh, i'm looking forward to starting to contribute um, well, I'll tell you right now, those, those late night conversations are massively helpful. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. I, I just, it, it's just being able to talk to someone, right. and, I mean, who better than the co-owner, of course, but, you know, talk to someone and, and kind of go, who understands what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish. And like, because everybody, <laughs> I tell my wife, I go, yeah, so David gets on a roll, man. I goes, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. <laughs> and it's just another dad, you're like, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, somebody's got to ask it, right? Sure. And, 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 I mean, and but things get done because of it, though. Right. You know, if I start asking you questions, it's something that maybe you haven't thought of, or maybe you were kind of on the fence about, whatever. And I feel like, you know, if I, I have to say something, and I kind of, I, I was just kind of watching from afar when I saw the the original one you sent me. Like I told you, I didn't like it, and yep. I was like, God, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I know we've been paying for this, and. <laughs> You know, he's been paying for it and he's had this guy and i was just like finally we had a conversation one night and i was just like let it out they're like dude i do not like this this looks like shit you're like was, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you something i don't want you to get upset and i go okay here we go <laughs> well you know anyway 
getting back to the whole accomplished thing, you know what? I mean, when I worked on WTC, you feel great. I mean, I, look, I'm one that takes pride in my work. And so when I'm working on something and I get it, get it done and I put it out there for people, I'm happy and I'm excited. One, I got it done. Two, I'm excited people can finally see it and they're going to be able to take advantage of it. Well, then I, so I know what you're doing. I know you're working your tail off, but I see something like that. And all of a sudden I got to come in and go, I got to, I got to chop down the tree, man. Get, you know, cut down that ego, take some pride from you. I'm like, dude, this is what's like. Then I know it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault because I've had conversations with you going, well, I've tried to get a hold of this guy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to reel this guy in. I'm trying to get him to understand this is what we want. And he's just going off in this different tangent. Yeah. And I, I, like I said, I saw this thing and I was like, dude, you paid for this crap. Yeah. You know, if I, you... I spent ha half the amount of energy, I try to get to, to get this guy to understand what we're trying to accomplish here and just put it, we'd be even much further. Right. Well, I mean, I'm just glad. That's why I told you the other day when we were talking about, I was like, dude, you've been talking about world Pre WordPress for shit a couple of years now yeah we've always liked what paul has had on his site mm -hmm. it's it's easy to nav navigate and look at it's got a nice format and we've 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 been talking for years that we had to move wtc because only one of us could work on it at a time i mean i think we've kind of mentioned before but if people don't understand the way we used to work on it is the site had to literally be uploaded to one of our computers and then, so if it was on my site, I work on it, da, 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 do my thing. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I want to work on it now. You've got to re-upload it yep. to your computer. And then you do your thing. And now I've got to re-upload it to my computer. Yeah, to, we could yeah. never work on it. Yeah, that's how it worked. We could never work on it at the same time. So we literally went, okay, Dave, you know, so this allows us to work on it at the same time together. We don't have to go through that whole process, but you know, so we've been talking about this movement for a while, but when I saw that, I was so disappointed and I didn't want to hurt your feelings. And, but after having these conversations and after we got you going, like I said to you the other night, I was like, dude, you've been talking about World WordPress for a couple of years now. Just go that direction. Yeah. Practice on it, play on it. And you did. And this is what we've come up with. And now we're like, oh, we feel good about this. We got yeah. a good look. You got a good layout. It's it's easy. It's functional. And, you know, I, I've seen you've been rejuvenated because yes. you found finally what you wanted. I mean, I've heard you say, I'm tired. I'm not sure about this. And then once I got you, and I say, I got you, because I feel like I had to give you that push. You did. Get you to go to WordPress. And once you went on to WordPress, man, you've, your energy level went way up and you've just been on it. And it looks and I, great. I look, I look and, forward to work. I, I dread it. And I look forward to it. If that makes any sense. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know exactly how you feel. Because the WTC, there's a bit of a love hate. Yep. You know, you start something and um, you don't want to let anybody down because you're doing it for the collectors and you're doing it for everybody who's a fan. And once you start something, you can't stop. Yeah. If you, go on, if you go on our Twitter account and see some of the comments that people have made over certain, you know, it's not often, but, you know, they're like, hey, I've been using the site for years or, oh, I love your site or, hey, you know, we're, we're support. I mean, it it's a good feeling to have that you've put a lot of work into research and getting the best minds out there to kind of confirm things and, and help you out with images. And uh, it's just, uh, it's nice to put under one roof and give that to people out there because at one, it's something we've loved and collected all our lives anyways, you know, for a long, long right. time. Yeah. And then you have other people who share that same kind of uh, same hobby. Um, it's, it's nice. It's nice to put it out there. And it's nice when you have, you know, a PSA or a Beckett kind of using your site to authenticate things. It's like, Hey, I feel like I have an obligation now to kind of, Right, you know, right. Uh, put the information out there correctly. It's like you know, a whole different conversation for a different day. But man, I gotta, I'm gonna have to put a stop to this WCW autograph stuff because really, <laughs> it's really these guys all they want to create something to create a buzz about something that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's right, like right. it's like, but I, I want to, I want to prove you wrong. I'm a nobody. I got no evidence. But just here's what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> well, you know, I gotta get going. But yeah, me too, Tony. Congratulations, man. I, I oh, to you too, man. That and I think this is going great. And I, I can't wait. I'm excited for this to go live and uh, people to start interacting on the site. I think that in itself right there, like I mentioned, you, you've created with WordPress, you've created a very interactive website where yeah. people can be able to participate and comment right there real time um, on a on a card or on a set. And I, I really like that. I like the yeah. idea that we're going to be able to see comments right away. And um, if people have something to say, they don't have to go to, you know, Facebook or wherever they can right away just talk about it and we can talk back with them. And I, I, I overall, I just think it's great. This is a, this is going to be fun, man. It's going to be a lot of really fun. fun. It's yeah. taken to the next level, I think, which is great. So Absolutely. 
absolutely. So congrats, man. You're, right, man. you're definitely well, learning. I, uh, I appreciate your time as always, sir. I know because your time is so limited with uh, that uh, that whole uh, posse you've got over there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I, I haven't even filled you in on half of it. Yeah, um, so, uh, we're on our way to uh, the green screen stuff I have behind me. I got to break it down as soon as we're done here and taking it to a graduation slash birthday party. So we're doing that. I was going to tell you, I actually, it's been a while since I, I, you know, I hate to say it. I I don't have time to watch a lot of the shows that you've done. Hey, I record and, them. Uh, I don't watch any of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to be able to. I just, I don't, but. It's been, I don't think I've seen this background yet. And I really like it. I like the, again, oh. I like the logo. I like Andre in the back, you know, yeah. it, lo it looks good. It looks really sharp. So good. Yeah. I got that. some different ones going on there. It's like that, but usually this is my closing. If uh, the videos that I end them now, when I have an opening splash screen, I have an ending splash screen with music overlay. Uh -huh. uh, this is now the uh, closing one. Well, as you can see in my back room, I'm sharing my office. I have this small little uh, space this, here. This people is, don't listen this, to him. Don't listen to him. It's 100% his business. David does nails. <laughs> <laughs> they look great, right. right? They look great, yeah. yeah. Don't have so, your four horsemen nails. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, so, I, uh, yeah, that's my wife. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully until next time, sir, I hope we can get you back on again at some other time. I know time is always a, a limited thing for you, but um, we'll get it going. We'll do another update on what's going on with the site as we make more progress. Absolutely, man. Because we have some more things coming in store. Just like a little teaser, as I called you last night, told you about last night. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I'm going to confirm that today and we'll have a, hopefully something really cool to add to the website going forward. That, that excites me. When you it told excites me, last me a night, lot too. I, yeah, I, I'm really excited about it. That's all I yeah, can say. I, I'm not gonna say no more. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I get it. I get it. And I, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, but I'm excited. And I think everybody else will be too. So I uh, hopefully we'll have a phone call today. See if we can get that going. And uh, it'll be fun.